guys, welcome back to another video. I'm super excited to be filming today because today's video is a day in the life of an engineering student. So basically kind of like a vlog of what my day looks like um, as an engineering student, as it says in the title. Uh, so I'm super excited. Today is a Friday. I don't know if you can see the date clearly on my clock over here. But it is a Friday, so on Fridays I do have five lectures and my professors like to make a lot of assignments due today. So we're going to be <laughs> having to hustle a lot to get those finished. I have a math assignment, biomechanics assignment, and a computer software assignment due today. And basically I'm just going to be walking you guys through what my classes look like, what I'm really studying. Um, what I do during my study sessions and just really kind of giving you a peek into my life. So right now it is about 8.30. I woke up at about 6 o'clock. That's normally when I started my day. If you're wondering what my morning routine looks like, I'll have that in a separate video linked down in the description. <laughs> Too many words. <laughs> if you guys haven't seen that video and want to check it out, I'll leave my morning routine linked down in the description box below. Okay, so kind of my main structure of what today is going to look like is I'm going to take my quiz for my first class at around 9 o'clock, then my second class starts at 10, my third class starts at 11, and then my fourth, <laughs> my fourth class starts at 12. And after that, we have like a little bit of lunch break and a little bit of a study session. Then I have my last lecture at 3 o'clock and then up till dinner, I'll basically just be studying. So let's get started. Okay, so now I'm ready for the first class of the day. So my first class is called BMEG 245 and basically the English title of that is The Fundamental Units of Life from Cells to Systems. So I'm going to start off by doing a test because we had a pre-reading for today's lecture. Um, I mean, we have a pre-reading for every single lecture. But today's quiz is basically on membrane structure and function. So about concentration gradients, ion channels, um, membrane transport, ion cells, signal transduction, and all that fun stuff. And then after that, we just have an hour of lecture. Okay, so that class just ended right now. It is 9.55, so I have about five minutes till my next class, which isn't really a lot. Normally during this time, I'll like stand up, walk around a little bit, go down to my kitchen, pay to visit, or go to the washroom. Um, but since I'm filming, I'll just talk to you guys. So my next class is called BMEG 210. Um, the English title, or like the word title is thermodynamics and biomedical engineering basically what we're learning in this class or at least the way the professor described it was like we're learning how the universe works it's super vague but basically we tackle concepts on like work heat energy different thermodynamics laws and right now we're kind of just working on like models based on different equations of state and then we also learn about different thermodynamics laws and properties and then applying them into like biomedical situations so yeah okay so i just finished my second class i honestly really love my thermodynamics professor so i'm like feeling pretty good now about the day. Now we're gonna move on to Math 253, which is my multivariable calculus class. Okay, basically multivariable calculus, we just do like a lot of theory and problems um, that work with vectors. So it takes like a lot of like visualization of like these vectors in a 3D space. Vectors are kind of like arrows. I don't really know how to describe it, but just think of your math class and instead of things on the XY plane, you have things on the XY Z plane. I don't know. Alright, so yeah, I'll just show you my notes. Maybe it'll help you understand. So as you can see, like a lot of the work that we do multivariable calculus, it takes like a lot of visualization. 
So you'll usually just see like a lot of arrows of me trying to figure out how things look. Okay, so I just finished my third lecture of the day. Now we're moving on to the fourth lecture, which is Math 256 Differential Equations. So basically, it's another math class. Kind of what we're learning is like how to solve first order differential equations, second order differential equations. So like think about derivatives and integration. Yeah, I'm starting to get a little bit tired. My brain's like fat, full of knowledge. So. I'm pretty tired. But yeah, after this lecture, I get to go eat some lunch, but not really. Because during my last class, I like low-key kind of went down to the kitchen and like got the leftovers from dinner last night. We had Popeyes for dinner and like I couldn't stop thinking about it while I was in class. So like I ate it. This is what I was planning to eat for lunch. Um, some leftover chicken strips from Popeyes. But I already ate it during class. I hate it when I do that. Like sometimes I just go downstairs and I go to the kitchen and then I go get a snack and then it turns out just being a meal. So after my fourth lecture, I guess I'll just like eat a salad or something. Cause I was planning to eat a salad with this so then I'd like meet my vegetable servings. So yeah, now I just get to eat a salad for lunch cause I ate like my lunch as a, as a meal, but yeah. So that's that. So let's go to, what was it? So let's go to differential equations now. Hi guys, so right now it is one o'clock. I just finished my fourth lecture of the day. Um, so around one o'clock, once my first block of lectures are done, I like to take kind of like a lunch break just to make sure that I give my brain like a second to cool down. Um, so usually around this time, I'll go eat my lunch. But as you know, during my third lecture today, I ate some Popeye's chicken strips, which was supposed to be my lunch. And then you guys didn't see it either. But during my last lecture, I went downstairs to the pantry and I got some bread because I felt like eating bread. Um, it's a really bad habit for me to just like snack on a whole bunch of carbs during class because then I just eat like a lot, just a lot of bread. So I'm like really not that hungry for lunch. So right now, I'm actually just going to go head downstairs and try and take a couple thumbnail pictures for this video. Okay, so I just finished taking my thumbnail photo. Um, it didn't take me that long, only like half an hour, so I'm just gonna go for a quick walk outside, about like maybe 10 or 15 minutes just to get some blood flowing since I sit on my bum all day because I'm in classes most of the time. It's a little bit smoky outside right now due to the wildfires, so I'm gonna bring a mask because I read in an article that certain masks like N95s help um, filtering out with certain like pollution particle things. So we're gonna do that and I'm just gonna like plug in some headphones and just walk for a little bit. Hi guys, so I just got back from my walk. I'm feeling a lot better and more re-energized. Uh, right now, it is about 2 o'clock, so my next lecture is at 3, so I have about an hour to do work. So right now, I'm going to go work on this programming assignment that I have for my software design class. So basically, my assignment is a programming assignment. I'll be basically using Visual Studios, which is this application over here where you can type in code. So right now, we're learning C Sharp. So basically my goal for this assignment is to create an application that can execute the quadratic formula given three coefficients that the user gives. Okay, so after about an hour, I've finished my code. So this is about what it looks like. It's only like about 62 lines long, so I'm pretty proud of it. Now it's time to go to class. Okay, so now we have our last lecture of the day. CPEN 223, which is software designed for engineers. I'm super excited because I'm so tired. I can't wait to get this lecture over with. Hopefully I can like take a nap after or something or I don't know, finish doing the rest of my assignments for the day. 
but this class is super fun. We're basically learning object-oriented programming, so that's working with the programming language C Sharp. And this lecture is a little bit different than my other ones. It's an hour and a half long, so it's a little bit longer than the rest. So yeah, let's go finish this. Okay guys, so I just finished my last lecture. I am exhausted. My brain is like hot. Uh, so now I'm just gonna go take like a, I don't know, like a 15 minute nap before my study session because I need to finish a math assignment and a biomechanics assignment. Those two are due today. So yeah, I'm gonna go sleep first. <laughs> Hi guys, so I just got up from my nap. Now it is about 5 o'clock. Um, I was laying in bed for like half an hour. It was so hard to get up. I'm so tired. Um, so for the next hour, I'm just going to be doing kind of like a study session. I have a biomechanics literature review assignment due today. So I'm going to be working on that and hopefully submit it before dinner. Then I also have a multivariable kind of assignment. It's like a web work, so it's just like a so it's just like a whole bunch of exercises that I have to do, and that's also due tonight at midnight. So I'm gonna try and get that finished. So I just finished my BMAG T30 literature review, so I'm gonna go hand it in now and submit. Oh my goodness, that is one of the best feelings in the world. Okay, and then here's also assignment one. It's due at midnight, and I am finished. Yay! Okay, so I just finished my assignments. Now it's about 6 o'clock, which means it's dinner time. To recap what we've done so far was I woke up at 6 o'clock this morning and did my little morning routine thing. If you want to see what my morning routine is like, videos in the description box and then we had five lectures today we had celsius systems thermodynamics multivariable calculus differential equations and software design for engineers and then we finished a few assignments today we finished my c-sharp programming assignment um, my multivariable calculus exercises and my biomechanics literature review we went on a nice walk and we took a nice fat nap earlier for about 30 minutes so now it's dinner time and after dinner i think i'm either gonna probably work on editing this video or doing a little bit more homework because i have more assignments due tomorrow um if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up it helps me out a lot and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in the next one peace